After the Poll Report with Brett Levengood and Blake Jarvis. Good morning, Owen J. Roberts High School. I'm Brett Levengood for Poll Report, and may I say you all look great today. Yes, you do. Let's kick it off with some news. This past week, OJR's own Zach Matarazzo has finally knocked Daryl Hall off his pedestal and made the difficult cut for the PMEA All-State course. The All-State course will be held in Lancaster, Pennsylvania from April 18th to the 21st. If Zach makes the next level of the PMEA bracket, he will be in the All-Eastern chorus. But I don't think just anyone can make the cut because Matarazzo has been practicing in chorus since third grade. Matarazzo commented on his choir class saying, Choir is completely different than any other class. It encourages you to talk, sing, and make noise. When other teachers were asked if they had planned on applying these methods to their lesson plans, they responded with no comment. It's finally here, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight will be the opening night of this year's Owen J. Roberts High School musical, Guys and Dolls. If you've been staying tuned into the Power Report lately, and we know you have been because what choice do you have? Then you all know about the prospect of catchy songs, exciting dancing numbers, and romances, both comedic and dramatic. Tickets will be sold at the door for $10 for students and $15 for adults at 7 p.m. this evening. And in case you can't make the show tonight, there will be other performances scheduled for the afternoon on Saturday and Sunday, and one more evening show on Saturday. Here to comment with our own Mark Mishania on the freshman dodgeball tournament is three seniors, because why not? Mark. I'm Mark Mishania reporting for the Paw Report, and I am here with the Owen J. Roberts seniors dodgeball team, the Pink Bunnies. So, uh, um, why did you guys form this team? Uh, we formed it just to dominate underclassmen. All right, that's good. So, how have you guys been training for this uh, tournament? Uh, you know, we've been coming down here to the auxiliary gym and uh, getting in probably about five to six hours of work a week done in here. So, you know, we're pretty happy about that. Um, but I definitely feel like we're going to come out ready to play. All right. This has been uh, Mark Bashani reporting for the Paw Report. You guys have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. It's I am athletic terrified. gentlemen. Yeah. They they look. This is like the best team out there. I'd be scared if I was a freshman. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mark. Your calendars, because it, OJR Band will be hosting this annual pasta dinner fundraiser at the Cedarville United Methodist Church by the Coventry Mall on March 30th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Hey, if they can master the xylophone, they can sure as sugar cook pasta. Tickets cost $10 at the door and $8 in advance. For tickets, email Chris Ficka at christineficka at comcast.net. The pasta dinner is sponsored by the OJR Music Parents Organization and proceeds will benefit the OJR band program. Prom dresses and accessories are being collected by Pottstown Cluster as a fundraiser and as a resource for students. Along with the donations, more expensive dresses can be put on consignment. Donation deadline is Friday, March 23rd, in the main office. Gowns will be available to the public for purchase in Pottstown on March 31st at 11 a.m. So hurry up, ladies. You only have two months. Now, we go to sports reporter and resident leprechaun Mike Venzial with Derek Gelati. Mike. Hi, I'm Mike Venzial reporting for the Paul Report, and with me today I have Derek Galata, 8th place finisher at the PIAA State Tournament. So, Derek, what does it feel to be a freshman state qualifier for wrestling? Uh, feels pretty good, but uh, my last couple of matches I didn't wrestle my best, but still placed, made me happy. All right, so if you didn't know this, you're the first freshman state medalist at O&D Roberts. Talk about that. Like, what does it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot because uh, maybe I, I'll just, I can share that, uh, tell friends and family, and uh, maybe I'll get my name up on one of these banners. All right, Derek, what are your expectations for next year? Because you set the bar pretty high. Uh, well, I still got a lot to work on, so I want to come back next year and uh, well, place higher, of course, and maybe aim for third. All right, this has been Derek Alada. I'm Mike Venziel reporting for the Paw Report. Back to the studio. I hear that kid's filthy. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Congratulations, Derek. Right here from Pop 11. Good. College Information Night is Tuesday, March 27th at 7 p.m. This program is designed to provide juniors and their parents with important information on beginning the much too exciting college application process. A college admission representative will give an overview of selecting a college, completing applications, adhering to timelines, and other practical advice. Everyone is encouraged to attend these important programs. If you have any questions regarding these events, please do not hesitate to contact us 
at 610-469-5101. Downingtown Middle School is sponsoring a Miro registry drive for one of their students on Friday, March 30th, 6.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. at the Downingtown Middle School Gym, 115 Rock Raymond Road, Downingtown, Pennsylvania. If you're interested, more information is available in the guidance office. You must be between 18 and 16 years of age to participate. Also, become a certified scuba diver here at O.J. Roberts High School Swimming Pool. Come join a scuba instructor and high school teacher, Mr. Galambis, in the adventures of exploring the underwater world. The lessons lead to an open water certification through the internationally recognized agency of Scuba Schools International. The first class begins at Scuba Venture Inc. on Thursday, March 22nd at 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. with classes continuing through May 3rd. Call 610-678-2688 and sign up ASAP as there are limited spots available. For any information regarding the classes, call Scuba Venture or email Mr. Glambus in the high school. All right, we all know what tomorrow is. Yes, we do, Blake. It is St. Patty's Day. That is right. A day to sit back, relax, and celebrate short, rich Irishmen everywhere. How what could you not? What a beautiful day. I see what you did there, Brad. Is this joke landing? Did you get it in this? You too? Bono? He's kind of, he's mid-sized. He's compact. Have a good day, OJR.